Welcome back to Kayla's Conversation. We have City Councilman Pres President Jack Young. Um, the other day, we I was watching the news and they said public pools and parks are being closed. Can you tell me why? Well, um, public pools and um, recs are being closed because of the budget um, deficit that we're facing in the city of Baltimore. However, I have pledged to work along with the mayor to try to identify some kind of funding source to keep most of the pools and recs open. But let me uh, be perfectly clear, some of the pools um, that we're told are, you know, are in poor condition. So those pools that's in poor condition, I don't want to try to do anything uh, to save them this summer. But the ones that are in good condition, we want to find some funding to keep them open and to find out how we can fix those pools that have not, um, that, that, that has been um, in disrepair for a long time, how we're going to get money to repair them. Um, in terms of the rec centers, um, I don't believe any rec centers should close. But I'm not the mayor. The mayor makes the budget. The mayor decides where the money is going. And um, she has a different model that she's looking at where she want to make larger rec centers where they can offer more services as opposed to a small neighborhood rec center that's limited in what they can offer. But um, I came from a small center um, called Chick Webb, a um, small center at Madison and Oliver. They were small centers. And I had no problems, um, you know, getting what I needed in those centers. That's where me and the mayor differ. But um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm being realistic because we are facing a $48 million budget deficit and the teachers' pensions are being shifted certain portions back to the cities, so we don't know what impact that's going to have on the budget as well. But um, I'm, I'm sick and tired of every time we turn around, I know you heard me say it at the beginning, that every time we look for cuts is on the backs of our youth and our seniors. And I want to be proactive rather than reactive <laughs> and look at how we can downsize some of the other bigger agencies, um, i.e., and I'm not anti-police, but we can look at the administration of the police department that's too top-heavy and use some of that money for our recreation um, opportunities in our cities. Uh, when I was um, the chair of the Public Safety and Health Committee, um, I used to oftentimes talk about how those two go hand in hand, recreation and public safety. Because if kids don't have an avenue where they can channel their energy, sometimes it is, it's done in other things, and sometimes it's done in things that get you in trouble. So when I became president of the city council, I made the public safety and, 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 and recreation committee one. And then after I got elected, I screwed it up. I felt so strongly about recreation that I made its, its, its own standing committee where all the issues that directly impact recreation go there. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm pledging to work with the mayor to try to do our best to save as many rec centers and pools as we possibly can. And I believe that if me and the mayor get together and go to these major corporations, we can get the money to, um, you see, I'm, I'm, you told me to cut it short? Okay. I no, said short. No, okay. <laughs> but um, recreation is um, something that I'm very, very, um, you know, passionate about because if it wasn't for Rex and Parks, I wouldn't be sitting here today as the president of the city council. The Rex and Parks which kept me off the street and in positive um, programs. I told you about some. We went to Bainbridge, to the Naval Academy. We went to trips all over the state, outside of the state. We went to people's um, homes and saw how they lived, where they had horses, they had cows, they had swimming pools and all that. We were exposed to a lot. We want you guys to be exposed to a lot too, so that your dream can be bigger than what it is, so that you can dream big. Because if you dream big, you can get what you need and what you want legitimately. 